Good morning, folks. Before we begin today, for those not watching on a mobile device who don't get the links automatically popping up after the video ends, right below this video box, click Show More and find everything that you are seeing, including the most important background videos for the channel, How to Watch the Sun, and the Energy from Space series. Following the links is vital to self-reliance. Nothing I say should just be believed without proof. I compile citations for a reason. Okay, on to today's top story, an electric one. Turns out that an alleged universal constant, the strength of the electromagnetic force, alpha, might not be so constant after all. Top discussion article for today, and I've also included the background info for this study. Folks, we have lost transmission capabilities for Jason 1, damaged last month, and is unrecoverable. Never fear, we do still have Jason 2 out there, and a story for today I was already going to share. Jason 3 has just arrived in France for two years of prep work before launch. Death Valley couldn't match the all-time Earth heat record, but is thought to have indeed set the monthly record on June 30th. Temperature scale at the bottom and link in the box. Quite obviously related to the drought look, now pay attention closely as I jump through the last three of these to show progression from June 11th, 25th, to July 2nd. Switching to quakes, two largest of the day hit Uganda. Quakes are not unheard of there, even bigger ones, but these are rarer than most of the rubric hits combined. We took three five-pointers in a small area of Uganda in less than 48 hours. The last time such a thing has happened on the continent of Africa was 2007. There have been eight eight-magnitude quakes on Earth since the last time Africa shook like this. Not to put too fine a point on it, but New Zealand had three larger-than-average rumblings yesterday as well, and the South Sandwich Islands took one too. So did Greece. You will remember the blue umbral field parting began with the 6.1 in Indonesia and since then made her mark with rare location shaking in Africa rather than larger magnitude. She's trying to close up now, but that is not a stable shape and she might twist back today. Dark coronal holes north and south still pumping out their solar wind streams. But at Earth, solar wind is calm. It has remained quiet. There are no magnetic disturbances to our shield, and there appears to be no energetic flux apart from elevated electrons. Solar flaring isn't dead on the table, but she failed to match yesterday's reportable events. Focus is on the southeastern limb. The large sunspot group is Beta Gamma, but before analyzing that complex region, let's quickly mention the growing traditional spreader popping out in front of the larger group. Coming back, this active region is Beta Gamma, and the delta development appears stalled. The largest umbras are fixed in their polarity and penumbrally closed off, but beneath them, the smaller umbras are trying to interact with opposite polarity. That's our best shot at larger flares going forward. Quick word on the Soho Lasco C3. Got about 20 messages describing another censorship of Soho data. Well, Here's where you need to understand the satellite before you make your claims. To see solar plasma, this must be highly sensitive, but such a camera aimed at the sun would be completely glared out. So a tiny arm holds an opaque disc blocking the glare of the sun. And since they need to flip the satellites from time to time for cooling and other orientation reasons, they have flipped the satellite and here you see the arm is flipped down to the other side. The angles of light have changed. It only appears to be a far more serious cut than the real censorship only during the biggest CMEs. Apparently, July 4th, now a special day for two nations. Let's try to have a good one no matter where you live. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.